So the song Only a Holy God is a special one for us. Um, and it's interesting, it became the name of the whole project as well, the, the album project for us. In many ways, it's because this song answers a lot of the questions that the, um, the rest of the album asks, you know. Uh, the rest of the album is pointing towards this God who we worship. I guess this is the vision that Rich and Johnny both, both passed to us in doing this whole album project in, in naming it Only Holy God and it being about this, this, the song is that this whole thing exists because we worship a God who um, gives us a reason to. Um, and I think the, the vision that Rich and Johnny set for us is that this album is called Only a Holy, Holy God because that is, like our, that is like the vision of City Light. And what we're trying to do is, is help churches to, to sing those words, who else would do this, who else would we be able to do this for? This was the first release that we did off the album and so we pushed it out as a single beforehand and we got some great feedback come in and one of the pieces of feedback I treasure very much, it was from a church in a country that I'm not allowed to name, in fact they didn't even tell me, they gave me a geographical region, I'm not even going to do that, but they're, they're in an area where it's illegal to be a Christian and they faced a real threat of persecution they would have fear of their neighbours finding them and reporting them. And, uh, but they said they've been singing this song. And I think it's such an amazing thought to, I mean, it's very humbling actually that God would use these songs that we've written to resource and equip a church in a place like that. And I think about them singing, who else can whisper and darkness trembles, only a holy God. That added a whole new meaning for me uh, that that they are in a place where it's dangerous to be a Christian and yet they're under the shield and strength and might of God who really controls everything, controls nature. He makes the kings bow down before him. That's the truth. He makes the darkness tremble before him. And uh, it's really cool to be thinking of our um, song, Song in That Situation. When we started our first conversations about what, what it might look like in the room, um, one thing that we really wanted to capture was this isn't a particular worship leader or a particular worship team, this is the church singing praises to God. Um, and so how, how better else to do that? Um, but um, put the band down in, in, into the congregation. We just wanted to wrap the band around um, with, with um, church members so that we could all feel like we're singing together, singing with each other and um, particularly um, create this atmosphere of t we're doing this together. And it does present some challenges um, when we're trying to capture things very clearly. Um, but um, when we get the right people in the room, every anything's achievable. Yeah, we had like this this crazy time where we, we were writing and we did tons of co-writing and all different combinations uh, of, of people, people that you'd never really written with before and just sort of sharing your heart with each other and I guess sharpening one another in that sense and learning each other's styles. And I remember we had you know, a, a ton of different songs. I remember we, we wrote them all up on this, on this whiteboard and we sort of looked at all the, all the songs which I guess God had, had given us over this time that we'd spent together. And it was from there that we sort of, um, I guess, went through that refining process and, and we came out with the, with the songs that we ended up uh, recording. One of the key uh, aspects of launching songs in our church is we, we first bring them to a really small setting um, in our team nights. And so what that looks like is um, maybe the person who wrote, wrote the song and a few other people will come um, just with our, our small creative team and we'll sing them and we'll, we'll test run them, I guess, yeah. and really get a feel for, um, I guess, how they sound when people sing them. Um, because it can sound great in a room with two people, but as soon as you know you sing it with with 30 people, it can sound very yeah. different. So um, we really value that time of of launching songs in team nights, um, and yeah, we 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 did that throughout the, the process, um, test run some songs, um, and really figured out what worked um, and what didn't. Yeah. But yeah, we we had some really good, really good worship in those nights. Um, yeah, just getting a feel for what what our church wanted to sing. Yeah, we found out it was I think maybe three or four days before we were, we were going to be launching the album uh, at, at church and we got news that there had been um, I guess a bit of a hold up with the, with the CDs and so they were stuck overseas and so we had um, I guess we told our church hey we're going to have a big big album launch you're going to be able to uh, get a copy of the CD 
but the one problem was that we didn't have the CD. So, and so we, we found out a few days beforehand that they were probably only going to make it to Melbourne, to Melbourne by, um, by the weekend, which was funnily enough when church is. And so we, and so, you know, one of the guys, um, off the, off the team, absolute hero, um, put his hand up and said, Hey, I'll drive down to, to Melbourne with another one of the guys from our church. Eight and a half hours. Eight and a half hours. And so, uh, yeah, a day or so before, before the album launched, these guys jumped in the car, drove all the way to Melbourne, picked the CDs up and <laughs> came all the way back straight away. straight away. And so we had them that, that Sunday for church, but it was one of those cases where, you know, it didn't work out how we thought it was going to work out. but. You know, God still opened up the way, <laughs> and, and we still had those those CDs uh, for the launch at church. And those two words are all that we have to say. Who else? Who else could rescue me from my failing? Who else could do these crazy things that um, that are being spoken about in this song and articulated in this song? Who else could could whisper? And darkness itself trembles. And yet, this was a song that was handed back to us. And it was because they said, and at first we we're like, oh, you know, it hurts a bit. But actually, the more we thought about it, the more we were like, actually, yeah, we're missing out on an opportunity. We thought about it a lot and then rebuilt the fourth verse. And now, like I said, I feel like that is the climax of the song. So we sing about his splendor. We sing about his might. We sing about his majesty. And then we sing about his tender heart to come and take us. And it's interesting at the end of that, we say, who else would do this? Who else invites me to call him Father? Only a holy God, and then we flick to only my holy God. And it's at this point, usually in the song, when boom, we sing the chorus, and the room lifts. Yes, come, let's worship him. Let's, let's sing, let's praise our holy God. It's a beautiful, beautiful time. Who else commands all the hosts of heaven? Who else can make every king bow down? Who else can whisper and darkness trembles? Only a holy God. What of the beauty demands such praises? What of the splendor outshines the sun? What of the majesty rules with justice? Only 